Oh god. Were those... People? Yeah. That's the Shinra I know. We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. Now this one is strange. I knew there were going to be changes when I went into this game, but I didn't realize they were going to make such a change that someone like Wedge would have survived the collapse of the Sector 7 pillar. Most of the changes I had seen before just came across as fleshing the story out a little bit more, adding some extra things for Cloud or Tifa or Barrett to do, having some extra characterizations with the other Avalanche members, and having longer conversations and all that kind of thing. This, though, this is not just an addition. This is an outright change. Wedge did not, as far as I can tell, survive the events of the Sector 7 collapse in the original Final Fantasy 7. You never really saw what happened to him. He fell off of the pillar, and he was alive after he hit the ground, and Aerith had stayed with him. But you never hear anything from him again, and you're given the strong impression that he died. You definitely don't see him again. So it's, you can assume pretty safely that he either died of his injuries while lying there, or he survived long enough for the pillar to collapse, because Aerith never says anything about him getting out or anything like that. So you can say with pretty good certainty that he died. In this, though, we found him, and he's alive. And when I played through this part, I was shocked that they made that big of a change. And in fact, it was such a big change that I'm starting to wonder what the future games in this remake series will bring. Will they, for example, will, spoiler alert for the original game that came out more than 20 years ago, but 20, uh, near 25 years ago now, but Aerith dies. She dies about halfway through the game. And, well, is that going to happen? I'm beginning to wonder. I want you to take Wedge back for me. I'm going to look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. supposed to return to us.
But if we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. <clears throat> so, we carry that weight. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat to him. But... Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? This section of the game is being drawn out a little bit. In the original version, you didn't take the trip back into Sector 7. You appeared back in this house. You saw Marlene, and then you set out for your mission to rescue Aerith. But they're adding something a little extra here. So let's, uh, let's just sit back and watch this cinematic here. Because it is pretty telling of the fact that they had to sort of abbreviate this game in a sense where we're playing through just the Midgar portion of the game instead of the entire story of the original Final Fantasy VII. And they had to make some, frankly, awkward changes here. How is this... Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So, it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... <sighs> you 
You need to embrace this moment. Right? I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared. For all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. Even if you think you have, it's not real. Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want. Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. <laughs> Marlene. Are you going? Uh, I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? And that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. Come back, right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. Tougher than me. All right, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. 
All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo? The original game had something of a mini-game in it, the relationship mini-game. It's not really explicit in what you're doing through the majority of the game, and it's based around the idea of Cloud having certain dialogue choice interactions with the other characters, uh, Aerith, Tifa, Barrett, and Yuffie, where, depending on what you say to them, increases or decreases your relationship factor with them. It doesn't really have any significant impact on the story. But what it does do is have a certain section of the game during the Gold Saucer section, where Cloud will go on a date of sorts with the different characters, depending on which one you had the highest relationship factor with. And Cloud is running into a wall. Now, because the Gold Saucer section is not in this first installment of the remake, and I'm not that confident that save games will be carried forward into newer installments in the series, because considering we're going to be jumping from the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 5, I think this was their compensation for that. That scene we just watched is contingent on a very similar game taking mini game taking place in this one based on which character you are have the best interactions with and of course um i saw the one with Aerith there but tifa and barrett are also possibilities it's not a date so much as it is just a scene in which you have some dialogue between the two the sky is falling and avalanche is to blame but wait did you know Wu Tai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wu Tai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. 